All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing a smoked pork butt. I'm gonna do some pulled pork, make some pulled pork sandwiches. And they're not gonna be the typical, like, you know, the traditional pork, pulled pork sandwiches with the, with the slaw, which is really good. I'm just gonna do it a little bit different. Um, I got some hatched chilies that I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna dice them up um, with some onions and maybe a little bit of garlic and a light amount of barbecue sauce on there. Should be pretty good, so stick around, guys. Check it out. All right, so I got this pork butt right here. I'm not gonna take the entire fat cap off, but I'm taking a lot of this extra fat off. I know a lot of people like to just leave it on, but I just figure there's a ton of fat up in here. I've always been doing it like this, so you do you. All right, so this pork butt is 8.3 pounds. You got the bone in. Um, I'm, the, for the rub, you could choose to use a binder if you wanna use some mustard, you wanna use Worcestershire sauce or whatever you like, you go ahead and do that. Um, this feels pretty, tacky on the surface, so I'm just gonna do equal parts, kosher salt and black pepper. I'm gonna throw some garlic powder in there, and I got some habanero powder that I'm gonna add to it also. I got the smoker coming up to temperature. Gonna try to keep it around 275, give or take. And just get this on the grill. All right, so we're running at just, just above 275. Got this on the smoke. Probably not gonna check on this for like, two and a half hours, just gonna let it hang out, try to maintain temperatures. Peace out. All right guys, exactly two hours in. Just got some apple cider vinegar, just gonna spray this down. So I reduced the size of the splits I've been using. I mean, it might look big on camera, but it's a small diameter by like eight or nine inches. Probably adding, adding a new split every 20, 25 minutes. There's like a 15 degree fluctuation, so. Just holding steady right here, just under 275. I'm gonna keep spritzing every 45 minutes. So this is what we're looking like after five hours on the smoke. Got half cider vinegar, half water. Just gonna spray this down pretty good. Wrap this up nice and tight. All right, so I got a few hatch chilies right here. If you don't know what these are, they're pretty similar to Anaheim peppers. They come around once a year, every August, they're seasonal. Um, they're from New Mexico and they taste good. A little spicy, they're not over the top, but there's a little bit of spice to them. All I'm gonna do is smoke these so they're nice and pliable. Then I'm gonna take the stems off and cut them down the middle and take the seeds out. And then finally dice them up and put them with the pork. And it's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna leave those there until they get nice and soft. This has been on here for like an hour, wrapped. 
A couple more hours will be good. Alright, so just some quick things that I'm learning from using this offset is basically things are going to take a little bit longer. So usually when I use the pellet cooker or the pit barrel cooker, um, I would have a set time, I would smoke it for five hours, and then I would wrap it for like two and a half, maybe three hours and it would be done. This took about 45 minutes longer, and it's probably from the, uh, the temperature fluctuations in the offset when I was smoking it, and a ton of juice came off of it. So I'm just thinking I should have probably smoked it for like six hours and rendered more fat and then wrapped it. Just a little, some little things that I'm picking up. But anyway, I got all the juice in this fat separator right here. Usually I'd let this rest for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but it's getting late and I'm doing a video and I'm just hungry and I wanna hurry up. So I'm probably gonna rest it for like 30 minutes and I'm gonna get a little bit of sauce going with this juice and those hatch chilies and mix it up and make the sandwich. So real quick, easy sauce that's gonna go with this. I got some everyday stubs, everyday sauce, original. It's pretty sweet, so I'm gonna cut it with some apple cider vinegar. Then I got that juice that I poured off from the pulled pork. Get some heat on low with the sauce. It's like three quarters of the bottle. I'm gonna put in some juice. I got some generic ass apple cider vinegar. That much. A little bit of pepper. Tiny bit of salt. Maybe a little more. And that's it. Simmer this. Because I want a thin barbecue sauce for this. As you can see. It's going to be sweet, tangy. It's going to have that natural flavor from the pork. It's going to be good shit. So there you go guys, sloppy ass pulled pork sandwich. Hell yeah, with the modified barbecue sauce and the hatch chilies up in there. Smoky but not over smoked. I'm loving that cooker. So there you go guys, if you wanna try something a little bit different, just smoke some chilies. Could be jalapenos, could be whatever. Throw it in your barbecue, it's gonna taste good. I liked it. You should try it out, you'll probably like it. But I'll see you on the next video guys. Peace.